I want to talk about carbohydrate counting um, and carbohydrates. So in this demo, I want to talk about carbohydrates because without knowing what a carbohydrate is and how it works, you can't really get very far with counting them and making them part of your daily knowledge base for living with diabetes. Um, there's three major food groups, carbohydrates, fats and proteins. And carbohydrates are the ones that when they break down, they become sugars. Hence, blood sugar, well, blood glucose level is probably a more accurate way of talking about it. Uh, glucose gives you glycemia, hence hyperglycemia, hypoglycemia. There are simple carbohydrates and there are complex carbohydrates. Both of them occur in the natural world and both of them get used a lot in sort of more man-made goods and it can make a difference to your body as to how these are processed, how these are put together makes a difference to how your body accesses the energy that's within them. So classic example of a complex carbohydrate would be a banana. Um, people don't think of it as sugary, but they do think of it as energy giving. And it, it gives you a long, slow release of energy. By comparison, a simple sugar would be honey. Um, completely natural, but my goodness, that is so blooming powerful. And it will give you, um, a, a, I'll show my little diagram in a minute, but it will literally give you a spike like that. It just releases all its sugars up immediately. Um, now, for somebody with diabetes, you're going to have to match that food and the nature of that food, the amount of it, with your insulin. So the, the more you can understand about how foods absorb in your body and get used by your body, and how insulin works, the better you're going to make the two of them balance so that you're nice and fit and healthy for the long term. One of the things you might end up um, talking to your healthcare professional about is finding out your insulin to carbohydrate ratio. For example, um, if you have a digestive biscuit, a digestive biscuit is worth 10 grams of carbohydrate or one exchange you might need just one unit of insulin against that 10 grams of carbohydrate. So you've got a one-to-one -one ratio. Other people might need two units of insulin for that same 10 grams of carbohydrate. With time and with blood testing and just keeping a note on things, you get to know what your ratios are. And they might change through the day. You might need one-to-one -one in the morning, one to 1.5 at lunchtime, and maybe two-to-one in the evening. It's, it's, it's perfectly normal that in the day your body uses up um, energy on, on, a, on a different time scale than other points in the day. It's probably likely that you might want to have carbohydrates with every meal, but they don't have to be the, the fullest part of your meal. Um, they should be part, you know, you should have some, some fat of some sort, protein, carbohydrates, and each time you eat the three meals you have per day, if you could have a little bit of all of them, that's probably the, the healthiest thing to do. Uh, you also need to understand the nature of the carbohydrate and how quick it's going to absorb. Um, but there's another demo on counting carbohydrates, but just to know that the carbohydrate is basically the bit that's gonna give you the energy, well, the sugar in your diet, because the body digests carbohydrate down into the sugars that, that, that they're made of.